Hey everyone, so uh, good morning, it is currently Thursday, I'm having such a boring day. These past few days have just been so boring because there's genuinely nothing to do, like I feel like I've hit a wall, I've got nothing to do, finished everything I could possibly do, so I'm about to wash my hair, but except from that, I'm really not doing anything at all. Um, so I'm planning to possibly put a few things on Depop and a few bits on Facebook Marketplace because I want to, like I've been saying, not redo my room but just change little bits um, and just perfect it really. So yeah, I'm just kind of getting ready, rid of furniture I don't use, um, getting a bedside table that I really want. Obviously I've ordered one I showed you guys the other day. Um, but I have just secured a collaboration with Rock Salt Prints, which I'm so excited about. Um, I've never worked with them before, but I have obviously bought from them before. This Audrey Hepburn print, this Louboutin print, the Dior print. Uh, I'm pretty sure that them three are from Rock Salt Prints, and then the other four are from Desenio. Um, but I bought them about three years ago when I first did my room, maybe even longer. Um, my room has been like this for a very long time, but I have changed little bits in it here and there. So the first things, obviously, that I did was the wallpaper, the carpet, the paint, and these prints, and the mirror, um, and the little box. Um, and then the shelves, and then, like, the blind. But basically every single other thing, and the bed, but every single other thing I've changed. Like, I've changed the curtains, the bedding, my cushions, the flowers, uh everything on them shelves, my Alex drawers, all of that has changed over the years. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of perfecting it, that's what I'm planning to do. I've now made quite a lot of space down here which I'm really happy about because I've had to move my bed further towards my window because I'm getting my bedside table next Tuesday so it's going to go here next to my bed. I don't think it'll come out too much, I think it'll probably come out to about here but luckily I've got a plug socket right there so I've moved my bed up a little bit, I'll move it up even more if I have to but it means I can have my bedside table there i've got a nice amount of space in front of my mirror still i've got a really nice amount of space here which is what i usually use like before i had a lot of space down here but i don't use it for anything like i don't take any pictures down there like there's nothing i ever use it for down there at all so i might as well like it makes sense to move my bed up a bit have more space here because realistically this is where i take pictures i take pictures if you've seen my Instagram, usually against this wall here because it's white and clean and it just looks nice. And then another place to take it, obviously, on my bed, so I usually take pictures here. So it means I've got more space to set my tripod up and things like that and take pictures. I also sometimes take pictures on my bed this way, so I'll have more space. And also, I'll have more space here, so it works out so much better that I take that um, I've moved my bed my bed up a little bit so yeah that's kind of the plan like I said I've got a plug socket there so I'll be putting the bedside table here it's really not that big like it comes out to like maybe here um it's not too tall either so that's the plan for that all this is ready to go on the bedside table so I've got my new lamp from Amazon I've got my fashion book that I got the other day I've got my candle Yankee candle there um, so yeah that's basically to go up there I was planning on putting my new mirror on the wall but it's not going to look right I've just decided it's not going to look right so this is probably going to go back to my dad's and live there until I move out next year so yeah I think it's probably going to live there because I'd rather it kind of have a room where it looks nice in whereas here it, it doesn't really it does go with my room but it just there's nowhere to put it I'd have really any spare walls I think having it on the wall here would look stupid because there's already a mirror there it just look too small above my bed the other place I could have it is possibly above there but would that look a bit stupid I don't know let me know your opinions but if I can't find anywhere it's just going to go back to my dad's live there until I get my house and then it'll probably go like in the hallway or one of the bedrooms at my house when I do get a house next year so yeah that is the plan for that it's going to be going to its new home along with this rug the rug's also going to be going to my dad's and I've also got quite a few spare pillows not these ones well I don't think these ones because I have thought a few times whether to get rid of these because one they're getting a bit scratchy I've had them for a very long time I've had them for about three years um they were very very cheap from Amazon um 
so I have thought about getting rid of them too and just like bunching them up so I've got the Chanel one and this one realistically I don't really want loads of grey and silver in my bedroom I want to try and come away from that but I do have a grey carpet I do have a grey wall and a grey bed so I'm not and a grey blind so I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it completely but I'm kind of edging towards the more pink white aspects kind of thing so yeah that's what I'm trying to plan for obviously my bedside table is gonna be white the other thing I want to do Oh yeah, what I was going to tell you is I've got a collaboration with Rock Salt Prints which is so exciting. So I'm happy to talk about it in this vlog and then hopefully the next vlog I'll actually have them to show you. So I'm going to be launching a collaboration giveaway with them which means I'll be doing a giveaway on my page. So they're going to be gifting me very very kindly two fashion prints like these ones but they're going to be A2 so they're going to be so much bigger. So they could go here and here, I'm going to have two next to each other. I'm not going to tell you too much about them because I want it to be a little bit surprised but they are fashion prints obviously and they are black and white so there's your little clue. Um, honestly I wanted them to be quite simple because I don't want too much more going on in my room. There's already a lot going on but I just think that having a bit of white on that wall is going to really break it up. So that is the plan. Um, finally... I really want to get a rose box, you know, one of them really, really gorgeous, expensive looking rose boxes that look like real flowers. I want to invest in one because not, realistically, them flowers look absolutely crap. I got them because I thought they would look good, but I need about 100 bunches of them for it to even look good. It doesn't look good at all. Um, so yeah, that's what I kind of want to do. Or like invest in like a really good fake flower book here because realistically, buying flowers every single week isn't going to work for me. So I need something that looks nice for that um, shelf slash like little bedside table Alex draw set up I have over there. Um... So yeah, if anyone's got any ideas or places I can go to buy things like that, let me know. Because I have been hunt hunting on Instagram, but I haven't found anything that I love yet. So yeah, that's something I do want. I think I want to get a little rose box for my dressing... Uh, not dressing table. Um, bedside table as well, possibly. But I could move that Chanel one that I've got on there. The one over there. Move it over. So we'll see what that looks like when it does eventually arrive, my little bedside table. I'm so excited about it. I think it's going to change my room so much. So it's really, really exciting. I've had such a big decluttering week this week. Like, it's been insane just to, like, declutter everything. Um, obviously, the things on my bed are going to be going on Depop today. I've got clothes to put away. But it just looks so good, like, having these flat. Obviously, this one's flat now. My ring light is hiding behind there. Good good storage for it and then behind here i have my wash basket uh my bubbly set and my promo so this is stuff that is just temporary it's only going to be there this week once it's out of the way it's going to be gone and i'm going to go to home bargains and buy a basket to put my promo in because currently it's in a big cardboard box that one looks ugly two doesn't even fit <laughs> and it's falling apart so yeah i'm going to go to home bargains and get this like plastic pink basket thing or white either color but yeah yeah, that's the plan and then last but not least so I can actually shut up now I'm getting rid of this grey um, basket because I'm just completely gone off it like it do I don't like it I think it looks scruffy cheap that's just my opinion I just don't like it I've had it for a long time now I've had it like three four years secondly I just don't really use it it's so big and there's probably about three cards in there like I use it to kind of keep like memorable things in that because I don't really have like anywhere to put that type of thing so in there at the minute is like my passport some cards from like past birthdays that type of thing just things that I want to keep but I don't want them around so that's what lives in there but I just don't really use it, it's just taken up a lot of space and I don't like how it looks personally. So I'm going to be popping that on Facebook I think, um, to sell, along with the chair which is, I've just moved downstairs, but I had a little chair from the range that I got last summer because I was so bored during the first lockdown, I was like what can I do, I want to do get a chair for pictures, I never used it, I, I literally just put clothes on it, <laughs> that was it. So there's no point me keeping things that I don't use and that take up room, so... I'm putting both of them on Facebook and I've seen these white metal uh, trunks. I'll try and insert a picture but if I can't, just search on Google like white metal trunks. I've seen them um, on Jessie's Dream House or like that type of Instagram page and they look so good. They're two stacked up together. They're not as big as this. They might go as tall as this but they're not as wide and they're like individual... Um, uh, 
trunks so I just think they look so good and they're white and they're metal so they can be cleaned so easily and I just think ignore the rug ignore this just them two against this wall would just be so good for storage and just finish it off like that's what I'm possibly thinking the only thing is they're like 60 pounds so next time I get paid I think I'm going to possibly get them and see if they go and if not return them but I just think that's what's going to work best so yeah I think that's possibly going to be the plan um but yeah let me know what you think let me know if you think I should be doing anything else because honestly I'm so bored that I just really want to change my room um so that's what we're doing we're just doing little tweaks to make it perfect in my opinion so nice to be on a little slight bedroom redecorating journey but I'm excited that after all of this I can actually do a proper room tour because like a proper room tour where everything is from go through like my wardrobe things like that because I think you guys would really want to see it so yeah fingers crossed we'll be finished soon and that's what we can do so I've literally just washed my hair this is a problem with this mirror it goes so dark sometimes but I've literally just washed my hair and uh, fake time my face so I'm re-washing that off in a few hours but I literally just apply um fake tan with um like a foundation brush and it just goes on quite lightly and then I'll wash it off and it'll just give me like a light tan to kind of like match my body but I know on camera it's coming up well darker than it actually is but my hair is currently wet so I'm going to dry that in a bit or maybe just leave it to dry naturally because I'm just I cannot stand it before I dry my hair it's a bane of my life I hate it because it's so long now it's like it's here just I hate hate drying it i'm gonna put this stuff on depop now um and then put some stuff on facebook and then i literally don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day because i'm just getting a little bit bored <laughs> is anyone else feeling like this like i feel like i've run out run out of things to do i feel like i've done everything i possibly can i've got no videos to edit i feel like i've done as much bedroom stuff as i can do <laughs> i don't know what else to do like i could order the the um trunks i might sh i might get them off my phone actually to show you guys because i might order them no no not sure so <laughs> i just don't even know what to even talk about anymore because we're getting to that point where there's nothing to do um but yeah <laughs> on a brighter note how cute is my juicy track seat though i love it so much got it on a uh, depop for like 60 pound i think and it is my absolute favorite thing in the world the tops are small and these are medium so they are a bit big but i just tie them really tight but they're so comfy i love it i love it so much good morning guys so i literally woke up like an hour ago i can't believe how sunny it is like my room is literally streaming in light you can see like in the window in the mirror it is so so bright today like I, it, does it just not make you feel so much better when it's this sunny like it just makes me feel so much more like that I want to get up and just like do things obviously we still can't but today I actually have an interview um so I'm going to be getting ready for that I had a shower last night and my hair's like all washed and stuff so I'm going to do my makeup um going to be putting my hair in rollers so I'm really excited to try them because I'm going to be trying the um, heated rollers today for the first time um, I want to do a couple of TikToks today I've got a few uh, like videos to do uh, what else have I got to do I've got a um, promo to do because basically I've not worn makeup in like four days maybe um, my skin has been so bad this week like I've just fully 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 broke out like my skin hasn't been like this for a while it's really really sore and it's just red everywhere um it's not normally like this but yeah i've got quite a lot of like worky bits to do today and things like that post office as well so i'll vlog as much as i can it'll be really nice to like vlog a little bit today um but for now i need to go and get ready so i'll probably come back when my makeup's done and try and do my heated rollers so yeah it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error because i've never ever used them before but let's try it because i'm really excited to see what it looks like these are the heated rollers that i've got so these are the thermal ceramic rollers from babyliss it includes quite a lot of of uh, things in here so i'm gonna pretty much just try and get on with it i guess it's just gonna be quite a trial and error thing i've never done anything like this i've moved my mirror off my door just while i'm doing it so i can actually see myself uh doing my hair but yeah i've not opened it yet um so I have absolutely no idea what to expect, I'm not going to lie. But I'll open it and get back to you. 
So is it just me or does anyone else absolutely hate reading instructions? So I've got the instructions. I am going to read them, but I just absolutely hate reading instructions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a read through. But basically, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it says do not open the lid. Okay, let's shut the lid. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. So let's just figure it out. Um, and yeah, basically, I've just, um, I've just plugged it in. I think I've turned it on. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so the sun was absolutely blinding me, so I shut the curtains and put the light on. But I've just brushed through all my hair, and um, because I let it dry naturally yesterday, it has gone quite frizzy. But it's it, my hair is kind of like not naturally frizzy, but if I leave it in a bun, it will go frizzy. So that's kind of what's happened. I've just popped my heat protector on, which is this one from uh, Schwarzkopf. Um, I got this at home bargains. I use this all the time, um, but my own hair is it's not looking the best because it really does need a cut right now. Like. It's feel, it's not feeling great from here, um, but yeah, it does really need a cut. I've got, been losing. I've been noticing a lot of like hair loss every time I brush my hair. Loads comes out, like absolutely loads. But I've got these plugged in now. It's got the red light on, so I've been told that once this white light goes red, then they're ready to use. It said to leave them for about ten minutes. So I think I'm gonna go down, make some breakfast, and then come back up, and it should be ready. Um, so I think that's gonna be the plan. So I'm really, really excited to see the transmission, um, but it also comes with the clips in here and these clips as well. Um, it actually comes with loads of these, I didn't even realise, which is so handy. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good, so hopefully it does look good and does work really well because the advert looked amazing and not of adverts, they're always a bit more like, what's the word, make them look better than they are, but hopefully it really will be good because I don't know, I just got a little bit of a good feeling about this and I really want that bouncy bouncy big curl so yeah fingers crossed. I'm just going to film a little before and after um, so this is my hair before all straight well it's a little bit frizzy but pretty straight pretty long I just can't believe how long it's got is it? it doesn't feel like it at all it doesn't feel like it but yeah pretty straight um, and then we'll do the after. They actually smell really bad. Like, I'm not sure if it's just the heat. But it, like, actually smells. <laughs> God, my hair is just falling out everywhere. So, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but... I'm just going to wing it. top section now um got more of the top sections to do on this side and then it's just the underneath so what i've done so far which is probably completely wrong this one's falling out um is i've done a small one a small one a small one um a small one and then a big one and a, a big one and a big one so i'm going to do big ones and big ones here now and probably big all the way down because i want it to be bigger but I, obviously I've got shorter hair at the top so I want it to be quite bouncy if that makes any sense this is quite funny because I'm literally just doing this trial and error but I'm trying to do smaller sections because I forget how many rolls I actually have um, so yeah I want to make sure that they're actually defined curls I really want like ringlet style big bouncy curls that's what I'm aiming for not like loose waves, like I feel like I always, always have loose waves, but I want the, I bought these because I want that like big bouncy look, you know.
these. I look so crazy right now, especially these because they've all fallen down. <laughs> this has to be like the worst look, doesn't it? But I really hope they turn out well. I didn't even use them all as well. Like, there's so many left. Look at all these that are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven left, and my head cannot fit any more in. But obviously, because I'm doing them on myself, they're all kind of front facing. So there's a bit of a gap here. So, like, there could have been some here. But I think I need someone else to do them on me. Because I'm not really sure how to, like, do them back and sit them there. But, yeah, there's loads and loads of, like, extra ones, which is great. And there's loads of these that I'm not quite sure how to use. So I think that's going to be a figuring out thing. But I've also just been kind of thinking, how are they going to fit in my hair drawer? <laughs> I think in the hairdryer I can fit the clips and the pins. I may have to put this in my wardrobe or maybe down the side somewhere. Because this is my second hairdryer. <laughs> and it's pretty full as well. It's all like my curlers and stuff. So yeah. We'll see what we think about that. But I'm planning to get the new storage boxes so maybe it could fit in there actually when that one comes over there. But um, yeah. <laughs> I think while these are setting, I'm going to go and like brush my teeth, going to um, finish my tea and oh my god, this one is falling out right at the front here. And um, what else am I going to do? I need to pack up some parcels, so I think I'm going to do this, leave them setting for like 25 minutes. It said to just leave them set until they're cool, but they're already pretty cool, so I'm just going to leave them for another 10 minutes, I think. Um, and yeah, I'll get back to you when take them out so guys i've been setting for quite a while now i've just finished my parcels and everything like that um so i'm gonna go ahead and take them out now i'm actually gonna make a tiktok taking them out so i'm probably just gonna film a little behind the scenes of that because i want to take them out obviously on camera but i really want to get some tiktoks done as well so i'm gonna do a little bit of both so yeah i hope you enjoy me taking them out and i might might insert the tiktok might not because i'm not exactly sure how to but you can go to my tiktok and check it out if not um it's ellen eastwood 85 so this is the final look and um, they have dropped a little bit I, I honestly i did think they were going to be tighter curls than this but i guess it's just practice i think i'm just not very good at it but i think it's just going to come with practice and especially because my hair is very naturally long now it does naturally have a bit of weight to it that does drag it down but it definitely still looks nice i love the style you can still tell that things have been done to it because it looks quite bouncy which i really like so that's it from the back so yeah, let me know what you think, because I'm pretty happy with it. I just need to have more practice. I need some volume here and stuff, like more curls further up, um, especially at the back. And also, this is the Zara 2 piece, so I'm really happy that I had to actually show you it on. Um, so yeah, I was... I don't know what I was going to say then, but I do really like this outfit. I need to get a picture in it, but I got an extra small in everything. So for reference, I'm a size 6, 100% on my waist and 8 here, so 8, 6. I'd say an 8 on my legs as well. So these are an extra small. There's like a nice amount of room there that like if I blow, it'll still be comfy. So like I like that because I thought they were going to be, I'm not going to lie, they were quite hard to get over my bum. So I was just thinking, oh my God, I know these are probably going to be sold out now. If I cannot get these on my bum, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. Um, but no, I managed to get them over because they've got that nice little bit of like extra room there. So these are an extra small for reference. Um, I've been told that like Zara small sizing, but honestly, like I think it fits me pretty well. So yeah. Um, and then the blazer is also an extra small. You wouldn't think so because there is quite a lot of room in here. Like I could probably get this taken up, but I think it's meant to be oversized. So when I, when I am going to wear it... Um, I'll maybe wear it like this, like if I was going for drinks or like a night out kind of vibe. But if I was wearing it as more of a work or a daytime outfit, I'd probably wear like a shirt underneath or like a white vest top. Um, just something that's probably going to maybe come here or like a turtle neck kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Well, really happy with this. I love the vibe of it. I think it'll look really nice with like one of them, you know, them like gold chain belts as well. I think that would look really, really nice. I'm not sure where it would go, but yeah. Really happy with it. Let me know what you think, guys. That's the back. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Guys, a little bit of a weird location, but I'm down the side of m and I've just been to B&M, and I want to show you these that I picked up for my mum for Mother's Day. This is British Gin, um, but it's like, looks so cute. So, it's Mrs. Um, Cuthbert, to be fair. I didn't think they were going to um, ID me, and they actually did. So, luckily, I had it on me. But they've got Palmer Violet Cupcake, Lemon Drizzle Cake, and Rhubarb and Custard Gin. And they're like, quite a decent amount of like, gin. So, it's probably enough for like, maybe two or three glasses. But I thought this was so cute. Um, 
I swear it was literally like three quid. I was like, I have to get that for her for Mother's Day. And then for me, I picked up these cookie dough munchies because um, I love them so much. I've got some plasters because after that walk, my feet are ripped to shreds and I'm not going to lie, I'm limping. <laughs> and then I got this Mother's Day card because I need one and I thought this was so cute, like pink with the little butterflies and stuff. So I picked that one up. And then we've got my niece this weekend. So I picked up this little Peppa Pig sticker book because I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. 